is a drilling rig, a grand technical triumph of the modern age. It is proof of man's great ingenuity and his magnificent engineering skill. But not only is it a noble testimony to man's intelligence, it serves as a demonstrator of his incomparable physical strength. The drilling rig is a place for strong men. It takes muscle and sweat, as well as technology, to wrestle the great wealth of petroleum that lies within the granite grasp of the earth. But very often, contained within the crude oil and natural gas that are the valued prizes of these men, lies a treacherous enemy the toxic and deadly gas hydrogen sulfide. This gas, colorless, heavier than air, and possessing as its trademark a foul odor not unlike that of rotten eggs, is in high concentration equally as deadly as hydrogen cyanide, the gas sometimes used for the execution of criminals. Hydrogen sulfide may be found throughout the petroleum industry. It is often present in gas wells, oil well pumping station, pipelines, crude oil storage tanks, oil refineries, natural gas plants, sulfur extraction plants, and service rigs. The presence of hydrogen sulfide, however, is not restricted to the petroleum industry alone. Its menacing qualities are found in a wide variety of other industries. Hydrogen sulfide is used in pulp mills for the rendering of wood pulps. It is produced, compressed, and liquefied in special plants to be used as an agent in metallurgical processes and in the production of heavy water. Hydrogen sulfide is present in any areas that experience the corruption or decay of organic matter. Thus, it can be found in sewers and in septic tanks. How is it then that the men who work in these industries survive the threat posed by this dangerous hazard? The answer is simple. Men who work in this enemy gas's presence undergo a continual education process. Regularly, these workers meet in safety training sessions. Here they learn about the properties and characteristics of hydrogen sulfide. To defeat an enemy, one must first learn his ways. They are trained to detect the presence of the gas through both manual and automatic detection devices. To work in hydrogen sulfide contaminated areas, the men learn the use of specialized breathing apparatus. In the event that the gas is successful in overcoming a victim, the men are thoroughly trained in the procedures of life-saving and first aid. All techniques of rescue manual and mechanical resuscitation are carefully learned and rehearsed. Remarkable, isn't it, that a little bit of learning could go such a long way in the control of such a vicious enemy? It was a black day. Okay, man, there's a couple of fellas on the way over. Okay, man,